Creating a surface in Civil 3D is a multi-step process that consists first of creating the surface, which is really to begin with just an empty placeholder for you to add data to later, and then next adding the surface data, which may consist of points, point groups, break lines, boundaries, contours, and other surface data information. To start with, in this lesson, we'll go to the prospector, right-click on surfaces, and pick Create Surface. We can also find this same command by going to the Home tab of the ribbon, Create Ground Data Panel, selecting Surfaces, and Create Surface. These are just two different ways to get to the exact same dialog box. Once you're in the Create Surface dialog box, the first step is to select the surface type. And the default surface type is tin surface. And this will be the most common one used. It's just a traditional triangulated surface. The surface layer has a default that was set in our template of C-Topo. I'll select the layer button. And here I could change the base layer name or add a prefix or suffix modifier. I'll use a suffix with a modifier value of dash asterisk and click OK. That asterisk is a wildcard that will use a surface name in its place. So if we create a surface called EG, the layer it will be created on will be called C-Topo EG. And we'll do just that. I'll give the surface a name of EG, then give it a description. And the description is optional, and you could come back and do this at any point. I'll just call it Existing Ground Surface. And next, you have to select a surface style. So I'll select a style from the list of the styles that were in my drawing. And these would originally come from my template. And I'll pick a style of Contours 1 and 5 background. Then click OK to create the surface. It may look like nothing really happened because there's nothing in the drawing editor. However, in the prospector, there's a plus beside surfaces. I could expand that to find my new surface, EG. If we expand EG and its definition, we're shown all the different surface data options that we have to add to this surface. We'll start with a point group. And before we add the point group, I'll go to point groups in the prospector, expand that, and find the point group called topo. And we'll start by right-clicking on that and go to Properties to just see what information is in that point group. It currently includes all points with elevations between elevation 285 and 425. And if we want, we could see a list of these points here. I'll just cancel. Go back to the prospector. Under the surface EG, Right-click on the definition of point groups and select Add. Here is a list of my point groups. I'll select the point group topo that we just examined and pick OK. As soon as that information is added to the surface, the surface EG is automatically rebuilt with this point data and it's displayed as contours because that's the style that we gave it by default. So we can quickly and easily create a surface based on a point group and have it displayed according to that style. Now this surface may not be complete. We haven't added any break lines or boundaries or other information that you might typically use. But we'll look at adding that information in the next lesson.